When it comes to water damage, the longer it sits, the worse it gets. After water extraction, the remaining moisture must be evaporated and ventilated, or dehumidified. The air mover's job is to bring energy to the materials, causing evaporation. This moves the water into the air as vapor. The job of the dehumidifier is to remove the water vapor from the air. Essentially, the air mover scoops the water up into the air and the dehumidifier removes it. The goal is a balance, so the moisture coming into the air is all being removed. It becomes a race against the clock. If the water is removed from the materials and then from the air effectively, then game over. The restorer wins. Nicely done. Congratulations. If there are not enough air movers to create evaporation to remove the moisture from the materials, it will migrate to other areas, resulting in secondary damage. Score, water damage, 1. Restorer, 0. And he worked so hard. If there is plenty of airflow and evaporation, but not enough dehumidification, the excessive moisture not being removed from the air will soak into books, paintings, walls, and other hygroscopic materials, causing secondary damage. Another win for water damage. If the evaporation and dehumidification are balanced, but there is not enough of either, the water will migrate, leading to secondary damage. Water damage wins yet again. It's all about controlling the balance, so we win the drying game. To learn more about restoration, subscribe below or visit learntorestore.com.